Morning everybody. Not a happy camper. <laughs> camper, happy camp. Had to do the joke. Having a good time. Last night kind of sucked. Cold. Kept on waking up. Having to use the restroom. <sighs> Crazy. Definitely hydrated. So I don't know why I was getting cramps. Sucked. No bitch about that. But it's morning time. Gonna make some coffee. But, you know, in a pinch, I can't have coffee. I will do. Yeah. Oh, took me a while to wake up and stuff. Anyways, so we are now officially on day one where everything's pretty much set up. It's moving around yesterday because of the wind and the smoke and the fire. So, let's start with what I've normally been using. These are my lights for inside the tent. The one on the left I've had for gosh, a couple years, and that would be the charger for that, the solar one works well, this one lasts a few hours, it's decent, it's better than nothing, I got it real cheap on wish.com of course, no payment from them or anything like that, I'm just, you know, telling you guys what's going on, this one I got a few months back when I knew I was going to go, well we went camping like I said before, and that's when I knew I was like, yeah, it's something I'm definitely going to start doing more. And I've always had a goal to go, you know, off grid, and that's what we're working towards. That's the solar panel for that one. As you can see, it's quite larger. This one's cool. I've been testing it at home. I put the panel in the window, and uh, that one lasts, I don't know, four to six hours if I just leave it on. This one's also from Wish.com. Um, it's good, it lights up another little light, like looks like that, but it's not solar panel, but it looks a lot like that LED. I use that for like around the campfire or anywhere it's, you know, it's portable. Um, it'll last two to three hours. I've had it for a while, you know. The solar panels, I don't know if they work or not because I've always tested them indoors, and when I did indoors, the direction of the sun was not working, but the location where these ones are, the sun, it works great. So I'm going to test this out here. There is a little green light. So it's now charging. But a few minutes ago there wasn't a green light. This one should also have a green, or not a green light. It should have, oops. This one should have a red light. When it's charging, I don't know if it's not working yet. Same thing with that one. Not getting enough. Yeah. Anyways. But it's early. This is the one. Yes, I just got this power supply. I charge it at home. I love it. Uh, it was at 38. What the fuck is that one? I'm at oh, 38% this morning. And uh, from then, I don't know, gosh. Maybe 30 minutes has gone by. It's already at 53%. Charges fast. This is what they recommended online, this sucker. I like it. Very affordable. Only like $179. The panels, though, I believe were 200 and something. Um, but like I said, it's an investment. Because uh, I've tried the cheaper things on purpose because, well, one, you know, money-wise, and then I wanted to eventually do a video about it, like I'm doing now. So, you get what you pay for. Cheap sucks. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I do have another one in the tent. Very similar to that one, but it has four panels. And that sucker fucking works. I use that to charge my cell phones and batteries for flashlights, things like that. Uh, anything that's USB works really great it lasts I can charge I don't know four or five items it lasts like two days before I have to charge it it does take about 
two to three days to charge it. I'll show you, tell you more about that when I get it. But anyways, these panels, as you can tell, work great. Let's see if I can get it. Cause you saw it at 53. Let's see if we can get it to go up more. Well, I'll just keep blabbering for a minute. But so I guess this is when we do the pan. It's a beautiful morning. One of the times, the last time I woke up early, I don't know, around between six and seven, I can't really tell. I got woken up because we had fucking coyotes out running around being stupid. I know a lot of people are afraid of them. I was always understanding that animals are either as afraid or more afraid of you. So, you know, I go outside, they fucking took off. I believe somewhere between this way and that way. I really don't think they went that way because from there all the way. Oh my god, to like there is a cliff. So, yeah, sir. Still at 53, man. Well, like I said, I've seen it go up. Hoping I'm gonna go up to 54 here momentarily so I can show you guys. But, I don't know. Ugh, do some FaceTime. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I gotta go hunting for wood. I don't know what it is. Wood. These pines usually burn really well. I don't know what the deal was uh, last night. Even the other ones, which are more like... I call them like weed trees because they hold water in them. And they will kill. They're, they're, they're basically a weed. Uh, these ones aren't those, but they're white. Weed trees are white as well. They just don't... I don't know. They, I don't think they really grow as tall. They usually branch out. But they grow fast. But they suck up a lot of water. But these are the other ones. Birds are chirping. Can you guys hear the birds are chirping? Birds are chirping! Ah, there we go. That's what I was waiting on. See? Voila! 54. See? So it is working quite well. It's really been out 30 minutes. I'm already at 50%, so... I'm gonna guess an hour to two hours of light. I'm gonna have that sucker charged. That's fucking fantastic. That is incredibly fucking fantastic. I am so ecstatic. I'm not using a computer or anything on it, so I can just unplug it, put it back in the tent, and be ready for the night. Yeah. Once you bring the pot to a boil, you let it percolate for about 10 minutes, sometimes longer, depending on what kind of fire you have. You see the steam? That's it percolating. When it first starts, the steam is a little bit thinner, it's kind of cool looking. And I got Hefty Bear here to explain the difference. This is cowboy coffee, because they didn't have filters, but I'll let Hefty Bear explain this shit. Yeah. Um these people nowadays are talking about how they make cowboy coffee and, and they take the grounds and whatever other ingredients they put in the coffee and then they pour cold water and make the, the Yeah, grounds. you do not put cold water in yeah, it. That's dumb. I mentioned that to my to my mom 
in the process of editing some other videos and she flipped out. Yeah, well, why would you put cold water into coffee? We want it hot. And that's the thing too, back in the 1600s, they didn't have running 1700s, cold water. 1800s, 1800s. Yeah, they, they didn't that have... Not cold running water. Unless it was winter, winter time. Yeah, and then half the time the water was frozen, so... Um, but yeah. And they didn't have filters. No. They use, what what do they use? They use a handkerchief or their, their bandana. bandanas, whatever yeah. you call them. Um, they had no metal filters. Put coffee in there, put it down in the water. When it's done, they just pull it back out. Grinds and all. Grinds, well, yeah, that's how they filtered out the grounds. Yeah, so explain how this one works differently without a filter. Well, this has got a basket. It's, uh, you put, it's got a tube. Open it. So they can see it again. It's see how it's thing. popping up? Yeah. Anyway, it's got a it's got a tube, it's got a basket with a lid on it. You fill the little basket with we put about five tablespoons of coffee in. Um, depends on how strong you want your coffee. The longer you boil it, the hotter the And also the longer you, you boil it, the stronger it'll get. Uh, so how does is, the water get into the basket? Well it, it the heat forces the water up through the tube and over the basket. It's like a, kind of like a fountain. It just, well you can see it. See it, it's, it pops up, it hits the lid, it comes back down on the basket and it soaks through the grounds, which then makes the coffee. Sweet. Well, since I got you over here, can you help me make my coffee since you oh, sure. put all the stuff in it. I know you like yours. You gotta open that. Put this back over here though. Further away from the camera so I can... There you go. Yeah, I don't drink it black. I like to put other ingredients in it, but not while it's boiling. <laughs> you make it black. Hefty Bear's using his handy dandy knife. How do you like your knife? I love my knife. I use it all the time. Just throw it in the back of the bed. Alright. So the way DJ likes his copy. Put some creamer in. Oh yeah, honey. This is this is regular plain creamer, powdered. This one is French vanilla, which is an extra thing that I normally just do the, the cream and the uh, honey. So good. Okay, cool here. Let me put this. Right back. That's good. Pour about that much creamer in. And this is a new thing that we kind of started This is doing. honey. It helps sweeten the coffee. That's healthy for you. A lot of microvitamins and oh, yeah. nutrition. It's, it's also free range honey. <laughs> it's corn fed. <laughs> yeah. Flower, sunflower, sun. It's the best. Basically bee poop, but hey. Whatever tastes good. Yep, let me put the coffee in it. Reach over. Sorry about that. Yeah. When you're out in the wilderness, don't want to have a bunch of dirty dishes. You want to stir up your coffee. Put your ingredients in, pour about half, and then just swish it around. Until the stuff's mixed in. You don't need that. I just told you that. I just wanted, don't want it, don't want it anyways. I'm trying to teach these people something. Sorry. See, now it's all mixed in. So you just pour your coffee. Cool. 
There you go. Show me how you do yours. All right, pretty much, pretty much the same way. Oh, and instead of regular coffee, we're using French vanilla. But just because we're camping. Just something so, new. Time for breakfast. Been time for breakfast for a while. Just how to get some wood. Usually we have more wood, but I guess should happen. Anyways, this knife. I already rinsed the taters. A lot of people go through like some massive scrubbing ritual, which I can do at home, but here I just want to get the dirt off of it. And here, out here, I'm going to cook it longer and the fire will be hotter versus home. So. And the other cool thing about camping is. A lot of the bacteria that people are worried about, or they agoraphobic you, or make you all worried. A lot of it's from the city life and the sanitation. Even though cities have like you know working sewage and this, that, and the other thing, uh, there's a lot of byproduct that isn't good. Basically, if you don't introduce it to the ecosystem you won't have it so if you don't introduce the bacteria uh, so I go more shredded but I'm just I got a lot to cut if I don't introduce the bacteria to out here then shouldn't have it we can't create it it can only it can only help it travel so if I don't bring it with me you really don't have a lot to worry about plus it's, and it's too cold to live like on surfaces and stuff. A little bit of pepper now, so I don't have to do with it. There. So I got the fire going. It's gonna cool down a little. I need margarine this time. Whole heap a lot of it. Why? Well, I don't give a fuck. A lot of stuff to cook on it. So I'm let that melt. Plus, it'll tell me when the pan's hot enough. Do its thing. So, finished product. We got tortillas. Look at that. Look how yummy. Yeah, looks very, very good. Ham and eggs. Cash browns. Over there on the fire, we got some tortillas. Probably need to get flipped soon. Yep, so now we're gonna eat. Now we're gonna eat. Yeah, so after getting the firewood for breakfast, big breakfast, it's time to relax. Kinda cooler outside than it is in here. This is actually holding the temperature quite well. Even last night when it was cold, it was way colder outside. So now it's time to kinda just hang back and chill. So let's do that for a while. Just gonna take a nap. Oh, did I leave it on? Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Starting out. Okay. Going for a little stroll, a little hike. Weather's getting better. Let's see what, uh, oh wow, look at that. I don't think he sees me. He's just, you know, being a busy bee. I'm kidding, it was dust storm really bad. Gotta get this dust out, otherwise it's gonna dry up your clothes, your mattress, your linens, your skin. Gotta get it out. Any uh, any tips and secrets of the trade? On indoor sweeping in a camp, off grid? Is it powerless, is it wireless, or what? What kind of? Small rooms. Huh? Small rooms, small dust pans, two small areas at a time. Free range or grass fed? Grass fed. No BPA? There's lots of grass in here, grass fed. Yeah, yeah. no no BPA? Uh, as far as I know. Cool, good job. All right. All right. See how easy? Why you buy the real tools?
And that is why you eat real meat and protein and buy an axe splitter. And a little hatchet. I'm not gonna burn no damn daylight. Now I got wood for at least one meal. We have a couple other fallen trees over here. We're gonna use that in the saw to give us meals. Yeah, no, I'm just saying be aware of it. You're doing great. I'm always aware of my button. You're beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Mwah, mother puts the problem money moneymaker. Show it. Good, good. Quiet on the set. Rolling, rolling. Shut the fuck up. Where's my PA? Kevin, get back here at the boom stick. Oh, come on, that was funny. That was Kevin? Funny. Yeah, I know Kevin's name. I understood. I got the reference. Okay. <sighs> I like that sucker. We got hot dogs, cheap kind. We tried the ballpark ones. I didn't like them. I guess I got used to cheap ones. I got the skews in there. I cleaned them. I'm putting on there to sanitize it. Also to put the hot dogs on easier where it's warm. We got Master Chef Hefty over here. I got a win and he's cutting some onions. onions. I'm crying. Onion no. doesn't make me cry. I make me fucking cry like old schoolgirl. Nope, no, uh, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. This is a joke. Especially those old schoolgirls. <laughs> yeah, I can play hopscotch better than I can. Never get that. I was good at hopscotch. Huh? I was actually good at hopscotch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think uh, video game has ruined that part. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, well. When I was in school, they didn't have video games. Yeah. I mean, they had the arcade games, but no home games. Mm. See? So, that's where we're at. Oh, yeah. And we got wood. And we found this. And it's rotted. We're going to be hacking at it. We got another long piece here. We're going around. You saw this one earlier from the video. Well, this video, or I don't know, from this trip. So, day one, much improvement. Let's see how, see the sun's going down. How pretty. So, this is dusk? Is this what dusk is called? This is considered dusk. Very. Very pretty. Oh yeah, it's vampire time. So some bar should be opening up somewhere. Last night I think it was like back over there somewhere. I don't know, creepy as hell. Kicking right. in the dark with Hefty Bear and DJ Jekyll. See, winter time the sun goes down too quick. But he's gonna get those hot dogs ready. What? You don't slice them right. Oh, that sucks. We also got some bushes, uh, baked beans in there. Hot dogs are just about ready. So stay tuned. Look at that. Yummy hot dogs. See, look at that. That look delicious. There's mine. Yummy. So, oh. 
Well, the wind's picking up. We had our dinner. This is the end of day one, by the way. Yeah, this is end of day one. Listen, I don't think that. Wow. Now, just now, the wind picked up. Yeah. That crazy? Fucking wind? It's probably blowing about 18, 20 miles an hour. Sounds really loud because of the trees. Sounds really loud because of the trees. Make sure they kiss they didn't hear you. Uh, yeah. So a lot of a lot of works are kind of tired chopping wood and yeah, a lot bringing of, hitter. A lot of wood chopping today. All right. Well, we'll see you for tomorrow on day two. Day two of camping off grid.